Hey guys, my name is Caden Kubler and welcome to Caden's Corner. The draft is looming closer and closer and last week we took a look at Caleb Williams' All-22 film and today we'll be breaking down Drake May's film. May is regarded as the second best quarterback in the class and is widely believed to go in the top three picks of the NFL draft. Looking at the pros, he has a ridiculously talented arm and is easily the best deep ball passer in the class. He also possesses elite arm strength and great velocity on his passes. He has ideal measurables standing at six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 230 pounds, and is very mobile for his size. As I've talked about, the NFL is very much a copycat league. Drake May's play style is very similar to guys like Josh Allen, Justin Herbert, and Trevor Lawrence. But let's dive into the film and see if Drake May is the real deal. One of May's best traits is his ability to create, whether that's on the run, in a collapsing pocket, or a shovel pass with his left hand while getting drilled. This dude is elite at extending plays for his team and is going to go all out to win. We'll start with play one in Death Valley, North Carolina on the road against Clemson. First quarter 0-0 ball game. First and 10 here for the Tar Heels. They're running a scissors concept with the X receiver running a deep post and the Z receiver running a deep over that normally replicates a slot receiver running a corner behind the post. Ball is snapped and Clemson blitzes five with the linebacker coming unblocked after the chip. May drifts right to buy himself some time but goes right into the pass rush lane and has to sling this off his back foot. From the 44 yard line, May drops a dime to his target in the end zone for a touchdown. A great example of his ability to buy himself time and then throw a bomb under pressure. Next play here will go to week three of the season, North Carolina at home against Minnesota. Early first quarter scoreless game with the Tar Heels facing a third and long. The Gophers show pressure pre-snap with five guys on the line of scrimmage. Ball is hiked and Minnesota drops out of their pressure and only brings three. They still get a great pass rush forcing May to roll out of the pocket. Full speed to his right, he airs out a 45 yard dime and hits his receiver perfectly in stride for a touchdown. Check out this angle, this throw drops perfectly in the bucket for an insane pitch and catch. Play number three, UNC on the road against Pitt, up four with a minute to go before the half. The Tar Heels are going to run a QB keeper with their big quarterback with a tight end pulling. Ball is snapped and the tight end lets this end go because he probably thinks he's crashing on the running back. May is dead in his tracks, but with his opposite hand, he flips this to the receiver wide open in the end zone for a touchdown. Just a ridiculous play with his left hand, and some may say this looks a little Mahomey. Next play here, North Carolina against Virginia, tie ball game in the second half. The Cavaliers defensively are playing a cover one man against the Tar Heels wing T formation. Offensively, they're taking a shot here on the left side with the X receiver running a double move go route and then an out and up from the tight end in the wing T set. Ball is snapped and the Virginia D line gets immediate pressure with their stunt. May unnecessarily sidesteps into the pass rush, but it didn't matter because as he's getting drilled, he rifles this ball over the linebacker and puts it on the sideline away from the defensive back. Let's check out the all 22 angle. He takes his drop, the pressure starts to get home and stop it here. Look at the defense when he's loading up to throw this. His tight end has no separation on the DB and the underneath linebacker is right there. This thing is a dime on the back shoulder with great anticipation for such a crazy throw. We're on to play five, South Carolina against North Carolina 7-7 ball game early in the second quarter. The Tar Heels are near midfield facing a third and four. Ball is snapped and South Carolina only brings two guys and drops nine into coverage. They initially have everything clamped up, but May is able to survey, keep his eyes downfield, and scrambles around until he sees his tight end flash over the middle wide open. Rolling right, he breaks every quarterback rule and throws over his body into the middle of the field for a completion and a huge first down. Just a ridiculously athletic play from May, and that takes major precision to get this pass over the linebacker. This next play here might have been his best play of the season if the receiver didn't drop it, but I still have to highlight it on this breakdown. UNC is down four with three minutes to go in this game against Virginia. They're facing a third and long, and offensively, they're going to run an all-curl concept right at the sticks to pick up a new set of downs. The Cavaliers defensively are going to drop into a cover three with a simulated pressure from the right side. Ball is snapped, and Virginia's defense does a nice job in coverage. If May gets this out on time, maybe he can hit his receiver on the bottom of the screen. 
but he stays alive in the pocket, finds a little crease while rolling left, and throws a dart to his receiver that falls incomplete. The footwork on this throw and the velocity that he creates is insane with the room that he has on this throw. If this were complete, this is easily going on SportsCenter Top 10. Another thing that I think Drake May is very underrated at is his timing and anticipation on throws. We'll stay in the Virginia game for play seven. Early in the first quarter, the Tar Heels are down seven zip just outside the red zone. Offensively, they're going to run a levels concept on the backside, which is a 10 yard dig from the number three receiver with the other two receivers running five yard ins. On the near side, the Tar Heels are running a seam hitch concept. Virginia defensively is going to run a basic cover three zone. Ball is snapped and once May sees his receiver get side by side with that linebacker, Boom, that ball is out, absolutely threading the needle in between those two safeties. Let's check out the end zone angle here. He takes one hitch, that D lineman is bearing down on him. That ball is zipped out of his hand with velocity and timing for a picture perfect touchdown. Next play here, North Carolina against Georgia Tech. Tar Heels are facing a third and 13 early in the first quarter. The receiver motions over with the DB following showing man-to-man -man coverage from the defense. May is gonna target the skinny post from the point receiver in the bunch formation. May takes the drop, the receiver clears the linebacker, and this ball is ripped in between both safeties for a touchdown. Let's check out the end zone shot of this. When that ball is snapped, he's lucky that the safety steps left because May is looking down this throw the entire time. But man, the amount of velo this dude generates is just unreal. Great timing and great accuracy by Drake May resulting in a Tar Heels touchdown. Play nine here, and this was one of the best Drake May throws of the season. Back to the Georgia Tech game, UNC up three in the fourth quarter. Ball is snapped, and the Yellow Jackets bring a safety blitz. May gets good protection from the O-line while he waits for this post to develop. The pocket starts to collapse, and May waits to the last possible second to release this. Stop the tape. Look at where the receiver is when May starts to wind up. That is on a rope and delivered perfectly over the defender for a touchdown. Great anticipation and just a phenomenal throw from number 10. Next play here, UNC against Duke, down a field goal with less than two minutes to go. The Tar Heels offensively are in a three by one formation running a smash fade concept. The Blue Devils defensively are gonna play a too high man to man coverage. Ball is snapped and there's no one open, but May likes his matchup with the fade and throws a dime to the corner of the end zone for a touchdown. You might just think that this is an ordinary fade ball, but let's check out the all 22 angle. First of all, he's on the left hash, ripping a missile to the back corner of the end zone. But look at the separation that this receiver has. The placement on this football is the definition of throwing a receiver open. In no world does this receiver have separation or a beat on his defender. This is just a perfect throw from the quarter back. We'll stay in the Duke game for another really underrated Drake May throw from this season. This throw is actually just a few plays before the last one. UNC is facing a third and 14 and still down a field goal. North Carolina is going to run a fake screen out of a three by one into a post wheel action by the number one and number three receiver. Ball is snapped and the Duke defense is not fooled by the fake, but it's all right because number 10 is a gunslinger. He puts this throw high and away in a window with three defenders. His guy makes a play and converts the third and long. Just a gutsy throw from Drake May on time and with so much velocity to fit that in that tight window. Drake May's best trait is probably his arm strength and this dude has an absolute cannon. The other day a video was released of him throwing an 83 yard pass that hit the crossbar. There's also a lot of other quarterbacks in this class who can throw far but don't have great velocity like Drake May. This dude parlays both and throws bombs. We'll head back over to the Pitt game for play 12. Right out of halftime, the Tar Heels up 11 points. Pitt defensively is in a too high look which is perfect for what North Carolina is running. UNC offensively is in a bunch formation with the point receiver running an option route, which is him reading the defensive back's leverage and either going inside or out. The tight end is running a dig route and the outside receiver is running the deep post. May is going to be reading the safety. If he hesitates on the dig, May bombs the post, and if he drops on the post, May will throw the dig. Ball is snapped, safety bites on that dig route, and May feels some pressure, so he steps forward and launches his ball purely with his upper body and delivers an absolute strike. From the end zone angle, he's throwing across his body 55 yards on a rope. 
Next play here back in the Duke game, late second quarter, UNC down one. The Tar Heels are on a hurry up offense. They get into a two by two formation and are running all curls with an outside streak that May is gonna be targeting. Duke on the defensive side of the ball is gonna be in a cover one man to man look. Ball is snapped, May drops and bombs a 55 yard throw down the sideline for a massive game. Aside from how far he launches this, I'm equally if not more impressed with how May kept his receiver in bounds and put this perfectly on his back shoulder. Just a great throw from number 10. We'll stay in the same game for play number 14. Late in the fourth quarter, UNC down three points with a second and long. North Carolina comes out in a three by one formation and again, May is gonna target the one-on-one -on -one matchup at the bottom of your screen. Ball is snapped, May stares at the safety, causing him to step over, leaving one-on-one -on -one coverage on the go ball. May rips this pass perfectly in stride to his receiver before he goes out of bounds. Great deep ball accuracy here from Drake May. Drake May has all of the tools to be a great passer, but he also has ideal measurables for a starting quarterback in the NFL at 6'4", 230 pounds. But at his size, he can fly and is extremely mobile. Play 15 here, North Carolina down 33-7 against NC State early in the second half, needing some big plays to chip into this deficit. UNC is in a 2x2 two -two formation with the Wolfpack showing blitz pre-snap. Ball is hiked and NC State brings pressure, not staying in their lane discipline and May burns them with his legs. He takes off and this DB thinks an arm tackle is going to bring this freight train down, but Drake May has other ideas. He breaks the tackle and scoots out of bounds inside the red zone for a 55-yard run. Back to the Clemson game from the beginning of the video. 14-14 ball game late in the third quarter. Second and 15 for the Tar Heels on their 20-yard line. The Clemson edge gets off the line of scrimmage with some speed and immediately pressures May. He says, I want no part of this. I'm getting out of here. He takes off, gets jiggy in the lane, and breaks another weak arm tackle for a big pickup. Play number 17 here, final play before we check out some of the bad from Drake May. Back to this Georgia Tech game, the Tar Heels are up four midway through the third quarter. UNC motions into a three by one look. The ball is snapped and May is gonna have the seam wide open with the tight end as the linebacker was lost. He thought about it with the pump fake, but felt the pressure and ultimately took off. By the way, this is a linebacker pursuing Drake May, not a defensive lineman, and he absolutely dusts him and makes him look slow as he glides in for a touchdown. May showing off some serious speed as he six foot four quarterback. A common knock on Drake May and something that pops out a decent amount on his film is his inconsistencies. At times, he puts the ball in harm's way and it goes well, and there are a lot of other times where it goes south for him. But when watching the film and checking out May's footwork, that's where the majority of his problems derive from. First play here in the Duke game, North Carolina down one with 30 seconds to go before the half. This offense is deep in the red zone facing a third and seven. We'll start from the end zone angle to check out May's footwork. Ball is snapped, and when he drops back, he has a perfectly clean pocket, but shuffles left multiple times into the pressure and throws this ball incomplete. But if we look back at this pocket that May evacuated from, it's absolutely perfect. This is a clean pocket, but he left it and felt pressure causing this incompletion. A head scratcher for sure. Next play, we'll head back to the Virginia game. UNC up three late in the third quarter. North Carolina offensively is in a two by two formation, facing a second and 11. Ball is snapped and the Virginia DBs cover up everything downfield, allowing the pass rush to get home. But let's check out the end zone angle to see what really happened. May takes the snap and look at this pocket once he gets to the top of his drop. It's perfect, but instead he partially rolls right out of the pocket into the lap of the D lineman for a sack. Just a very unnecessary play here from Drake May. Play number 20 here, UNC against Clemson. The Tar Heels offensively are gonna come out in an empty formation facing a third and eight. Clemson brings four when the ball is snapped and May again has a very clean pocket. But instead of staying put, he shuffles left into the pressure, causing this ball to sail over his receiver's head. So many times when watching May's film, he shuffles towards the receiver he's targeting before releasing it. Normally you see this with quarterbacks who don't have big arms. That's why it makes no sense to why Drake May is doing this. Back to the NC State game early in the first quarter. UNC down 6-0 facing a second and 11. 
The Wolfpack pre-snap show some pressure that they end up backing out of when the ball is snapped. Watch the direction that May drops when he takes this snap. He's angling his drop to the right, and when he hits the top, a defender is pursuing that pass rush lane, and it causes a late and inaccurate throw from May. If he drops backwards in a straight line from where he's standing, he has a nice pocket to throw from, but his footwork is just killing him. Back to this Clemson game, North Carolina down a touchdown in the third quarter. They're facing a fourth and six and trying to keep this drive alive. Clemson is going to send a linebacker blitz from the left side. Drake May takes the snap and has nowhere to go with this football. But watch the happy feet here. He unnecessarily hitches up in the pocket multiple times, starts to feel the pressure that he put himself in danger of, and gets sacked while trying to escape. But look at this pocket when he hits the top of his drop. Unless he's stepping into his throat, there was no reason to hitch up multiple times here, and it puts him in big time trouble on this play. Drake May's footwork and pocket presence hurts his consistency, but at other times he flat out just misses throws or is not on time and it leaves a person questioning what is going on. We'll start with the next play here, UNC against Duke. The Tar Heels are up six points backed up on their own one yard line. Duke defensively is going to blitz five guys when the ball is snapped. May drops back, starts to feel some pressure, so he flings this in the back of the end zone and it gets picked off. As a quarterback, you have to have situational awareness in this down and distance. May threw up a prayer and gave the Blue Devils an automatic red zone opportunity. Play number 24 here, back to this NC State game where the Tar Heels were getting hammered late in the third quarter. North Carolina is in a 3x1 formation here with a fresh set of downs. May drops back and is targeting the dig at the top of your screen. He's late throwing this pass and it sails over his receiver's head. May had a lot of throws with great timing on this film breakdown, but this throw was very late and inaccurate. Let's head over to play 25 UNC against Virginia, tie ball game midway through the second quarter. The Tar Heels are at midfield trying to convert a fourth and six. Ball is snapped and May surveys left. If he pulls the trigger here, it's a touchdown because this safety is flat footed, but he doesn't like it and is forced out of the pocket. He sees his receiver working with him right and fires it to him, but the underneath defender is lurking and almost comes up with the pick. Final play of the film breakdown here, North Carolina is up 17 points with the ball. First and 10 near midfield, UNC is going to play action off the fake jet motion. South Carolina defensively is blitzing five and gets after May very fast. May is flushed outright and tries to make one of his crossbody throws and it stings them resulting in an interception. Drake May is a great quarterback, don't get me wrong, but watching the film at times he's very inconsistent. Drake May is a wildly talented quarterback that absolutely has all of the traits to be a franchise quarterback in the NFL. I also think he's a very raw prospect. Sometimes he's very inconsistent, other times he has bad footwork that leads to frequent inaccuracy, and he doesn't have great pocket presence at times that lead to negative plays and unnecessary pressure. But the good news is with these flaws is that they're not deal breakers and he will become a more polished quarterback in the NFL. Quarterbacks like Patrick Mahomes, Matthew Stafford, and Phillip Rivers were all criticized when they were coming into the league for their bad footwork or their poor mechanics. When I look at Drake May, I truly look at him like a Josh Allen coming out of college, the big quarterback with a rocket of an arm, but with inconsistencies that lead to turnovers at times. Drake May, compared to the other quarterbacks in the class, is a good leader, which has been a common knock on Caleb Williams. He's also 21 years old if you want to compare him to Michael Penix and Jaden Daniels, who are 23, and Bo Nix, who's 24 years of age. Drake May should be the second player taken off the board after Caleb Williams. I don't believe that he's the most pro-ready quarterback in this class, but given time in an organization, I believe that he can absolutely be elite at the NFL level. I'm Caden Kubler, and that's my take. <laughs>